During the course of a time change due to daylight savings time, your NVR, Command Recording Server, or Command Enterprise Server can account for the time change and prevent you from losing any video that has been recorded during a time change. I'll be demonstrating this on an 8000 series NVR, but this feature will work for any other recorder or CRS. In Command Client, I'll search for video that occurred during our time change. So November 5th at 2 a.m., daylight savings time ends and the time shifts back an hour. So we'll have video that goes from 130, 140, 150, and then instead of at 2 o'clock, we now have 1 o'clock all over again. And that's because the clock has gone backwards. In this video, we can track the time change by watching the analog clock in the background. It's set to daylight savings time, so when the change occurs, it remains on daylight savings time. So if we want to export video from just before daylight savings time ends, let's say 140 to 150, you can see that there is now a checkbox where we can select if the chosen time is during daylight savings time or not. So in this case, we would want to make sure the DST checkboxes are both checked for the start and end time. If we want to export video from just after daylight savings time, let's say 140 to 150 again, but now on standard time, we would want to make sure the DST checkboxes are left unchecked for both the start and end time. This would mean we're downloading video in standard time now. But what if you want to export video from right during the time change? Let's say we want video from 150 DST to 210 DST, or what is now 110 standard time. You'll want to ensure that the checkbox for the start time is checked, indicating that this video will be from during the daylight savings time period. The checkbox for our end time is left empty, indicating that this portion of the video is during the standard time that it has been changed to. You can adjust the time and check or uncheck the DST checkboxes as needed, but keep in mind that these do need to end up representing an actual time. In this case, if you were to have both DST checkboxes checked, then you're telling the client that you want to export video at a starting time that is actually after your ending time. Obviously that wouldn't work. So you wanna make sure when adjusting this that it makes sense logically. So if we change this back, we're exporting video overlapping between daylight savings time and standard time. You can now click next and continue with the export process as you normally would. 